Good morning, I'm Vargis. The Lokayakta last night trapped a corrupt government official in Bengaluru. The Joint Secretary of the Education Department, Pradeep S. Ranjal, along with three other officials, fell in the Lokayakta net. The other two officials trapped have been identified as Under Secretary Malikarjun and Group D worker Srinivas. The Education Department had called for tenders from schools to set up racks to keep the files. A contractor named Lokesh had also filed an application for the same. The officials had asked 20,000 rupees as bribed from him. The officials were nabbed when they were accepting an amount of 10,000 rupees in MS building and they had already accepted 10,000 rupees earlier. The Lokayakta has trapped a corrupt official from the education department. The Lokayakta last night trapped the person the Joint Secretary of the Education Department, Pradeep S. Ranjal, along with three other officials, fell in the Lokaita trap. The other two officials trapped have been identified as Under Secretary Malikarjun and Group D worker Srinivas. The Education Department had called for tenders from schools to set up racks to keep the files. A contractor named Lokesh had also filed an application for the same. The officials had asked 20,000 rupees as bribe from him. The officials were nabbed when they were accepting an amount of 10,000 rupees at the MS building and they had already accepted 10,000 rupees earlier. Corruption in the education department where racks were to be made and a contractor who had filed for the same was asked rupees 20,000 uh, 20, for giving in the contract. The joint secretary and the under secretary have been in fact, trapped by the Lokayita along with a Group D worker. This happened late last night when they were caught red-handed trying to accept a bribe of 10,000. Earlier, they had already taken money of rupees 10,000 from the contractor and this was the second installment. The Lokayakta last night trapped corrupt government officials. The Joint Secretary of the Education Department, Pradeep S. Ranjal, along with three other officials, fell in the Lokayakta net. The other two officials trapped have been identified as Under Secretary Malikarjun and Group D worker Srinivas. The Education Department had called for tenders from schools to set up racks to keep the files. A contractor named Lokesh had also filed an application for the same. The officials had asked 20,000 rupees as bribe from him. The officials were nabbed when they were accepting an amount of 10,000 rupees in MS building and they had already accepted 10,000 rupees earlier. In Paparedi Palia, an incident took where a welding cylinder exploded. The incident took place at around 1 a.m. Over 15 houses caught fire after the explosion. Few people also suffered minor injuries. A cylinder that was used for welding exploded at a garage in Paparedi Palia. The incident took place at around 1 a.m. Over 15 houses caught fire after the explosion. Few people also suffered minor injuries. The explosion, in fact, ripped the wall of the garage and many people had their roofs in fact blown off. Four of them have suffered minor injuries. In fact, a coconut tree was also on fire because of the blast. Fire tenders were rushed in and they had to control the flames. In this incident took at Paparedi Palia. 15 houses have sustained damages, especially to the roofs. Most of them contain asbestos sheet, uh, asbestos sheet as a covering on the roof. Windows have also, glasses of windows have also broken because of this explosion. It, ha it happened 1 a.m. in the morning and the sound of the explosion woke the areas, the residents of the areas. The fire tenders immediately rushed in to contain the blaze. People have, in fact, come out of their homes 
after hearing the loud explosion. It later came to be known that it was a cylinder that had exploded. A part of the garage has been completely blown off. The walls have also collapsed in certain areas. A cylinder exploded at a garage in Papare di Palia. The incident took place at around 1 a.m. Over 15 houses caught fire after the explosion. Few people also suffered minor injuries. A seemingly small incident has been blown out of proportion which has led to a lot of chaos in Shimoga. Take a look as to what happened. There was a lot of chaos and confusion in a police station in Shimoga. A young boy was sitting at a desk surrounded by loud angry men who argued in his favor while a girl stood in the corner crying. If you're wondering why, this is what happened. Pooja, an engineering student, allegedly rammed into a car while riding near Shivamurti Circle in Shimoga. When the car driver stepped out to question her apparent negligence, the girl is said to have gotten violent and assaulted him. When asked about it though, the girl claimed innocence, stating that it was a small accident and was being blown out of proportion by bystanders. A lot of support poured in for the boy who was allegedly the victim in this incident. On the other hand, the girl was being pacified by a friend whose only intention seemed to be avoid the News 9 camera. Case has been registered against the girl with the traffic police. Basvaraj Yaraganavi, News 9, Shimoga. Traffic is never ending problem for Bangaloreans. When there are instances when road repair work takes a long time, it's just chaos everywhere. Vehicles stranded in a line, commuters struggling to drive through traffic, bags of onions stacked up in lorries. These are the scenes from the APMC yard in Yashwantpur. Courtesy the road repair work that started 15 days ago and is yet to be completed, the road leading to APMC has been shut. The delay in work is a reason for the traffic pileup. The traffic gridlock got worse as lorries that carried their load to APMC yard last night were yet to be unloaded, giving no space for the lorries that carried a fresh load this morning. Auto drivers are badly hit. Close to 500 lorries come to APMC yard every day. Separate roads were built to facilitate smooth traffic movement. Since the roads have been shut and only one road is functioning, it is difficult for so many lorries to unload onions. Traffic is 
ಬೇಗ ತೂಕ ಉಳಾಗಲ್ಲ ಗಾಡಿಗಳು ಹೊರಗಡೆಯಿಂದ ಬರೋದು ಲೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಆ ಉದ್ದೇಶದಿಂದ ತೂಕ ಲೇಟ್ ಆಗೋ ಸಲುವಾಗಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಜಾಮ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ರೋಡ್ ರಿಪೇರಿ ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ತಾರ್ ರೋಡ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ತೆಗೆದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇವಾಗ ಸಿಮೆಂಟಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದರಿಂದನೂ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಒನ್ ವೇ ಆಗಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಆ ಕಡೆ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಬಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಜಾಮ್ ಆಗಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇದಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಲೋಕಲ್ ರೆಸಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ It's high time the authorities wake up to resolve the traffic wars of the residents. Anand Burli, News 9, Bengaluru.